Nearly 80 years ago, the US was introduced to arguably the first ever women's professional sports league. The All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was played from 1943 to 1954, and the women were inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1988. But for most people, the first time they heard of these groundbreaking women was in the iconic 1992 film, A League of Their Own, which showed a fictional, dramatized version of the league. There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. The league was played by over 500 women and helped trailblaze a path for women in sports. It gave us a chance to do what we want. It's opened the door for us girls in, in all, all phases of sports. And uh, I think it's the most wonderful thing that ever happened. Maybell Blair played in the original league for the Peoria Red Wings in 1948 and served as a consultant for the Amazon Prime revival of A League of Their Own. I'm so thrilled that the Amazon is coming up with this uh, follow through on the, the, the original uh, a league of their own because it's, it tells the true story that they couldn't tell in 1992. And uh, it just it just thrilled me all through my bones is that it's coming finally coming out that tells the whole, whole true story. The show creators Abby Jacobson and Will Graham set out to make a more accurate representation of the time, highlighting the stories of LGBTQ women that played in the league, as well as women of color who weren't allowed to play in the league due to segregation in the 40s and 50s. Maybell said that working with Jacobson and Graham on creating a real depiction of what the league was like is what gave her the courage to come out as gay for the first time at 95 years old. I hid for uh, 95 years that I was gay. And uh, I finally had an opportunity to come out. And, and thanks to Will and Abby, uh, I did. And I was sitting there and I said, I don't know what I said. I said, I was, and all of a sudden I blurted out. I think it's a great opportunity for these young girl ball players to come realize that they're not alone and you don't have to hide. I hid for 75, 85 years. And this is actually basically the first time I've ever come out. Golly, dirt, I almost fell down on myself, you know, <laughs> saying that. And, um, then it dawned on me that, oh my God, Maybell, your family, what are they gonna think, you know? Because I've hit it for that many years. Mm -hmm. And so the next day the phone started ringing and they all told me, hey, Aunt Maybell, don't you worry. We love you for what you are and not you to worry one bit. And we're very proud of you for coming out. And I was, you have never, Ever. Nobody's ever had that feeling of the relief that I did when I heard those words coming from them. When I spoke with Maybell, she told me one of the greatest joys of being in the league for her and some of the other women was that they finally found a place they could be themselves. I thought I was the only one in the world that, uh, that uh, was like I am, you know. I had a little girlfriend in high school my senior year, and uh, I thought we were the only two in the whole world. Oh, only two in the whole world. I went back there and it was like a party. The door opened up because <laughs> there they were, just like me. You know, my God, we all were thrilled to death, you know, that we met each other and what have you. It was the most wonderful part of my life. You know, they thought it was the baseball. It wasn't only the baseball, it was the camaraderie ship that we could share with each other that we were gay.